are you trying to gain weight but you don't know what's next to eat girl i understand you figured out what to eat for breakfast you figured out what to eat for lunch even dinner but you're like what do i eat in between all that you tuned into the right video because in this video i'm going to tell you guys what's next to eat in between breakfast lunch and dinner disclaimer before i get into the video please do not list every food in the comments bro let people watch the video bro y'all be really ruining the explanations that i give i'm really thorough with my video so if you put that comment i'm going to delete it <laughs> remember to cherish your body and love your skin because baby girl that is where it all begins okay and remember that fitness is a lifestyle and body positivity baby is an attitude be sure to comment body positivity down below if you are interested in knowing some high calorie snacks for weight gain slash bulking be sure to give me a big old thumbs up click that subscribe button and baby girl we're just gonna get right into this video okay so let's get into it y'all the first snack that you want to eat are granola bars now i don't know about y'all but i love me some granola bars y'all it's just such a on the go thing in granola bars you're probably gonna get about a hundred calories plus um i know that the quaker chocolate chip bars are usually like a hundred depending on what granola bars you get the calories will be more you could eat these granola bars with almond milk okay so that could be a snack almond milk a cup of almond milk and one or two granola bars boom that's your snack for the day the next is cheese and crackers now you can literally just get a slice of cheese and i'm not talking about like i'm put on the screen what i mean not like because i don't want you to eat the cheese that you put on your sandwiches no get a slice of cheese get some crackers and y'all boom there go another snack honey <laughs> why did i just make that why did i just make that noise there go another snack like cheese and crackers cheese has about approximately 80 to about 120 calories per ounce cheese is even a good snack on its own so like i know y'all seen like cheese sticks you could eat that too but if you want to add a little bit of razzle dazzle you get the crackers and boom cheese and crackers that's another snack the next snack is trail mix y'all have too much energy right now trail mix now with trail mix you can either make it yourself or you can get dry fruits you can get some sunflower seeds some nuts almond walnut whatever you like m ms probably but you know watch the sugar y'all raisins which is also dry fruit um what else chocolate okay you can put all that together and make your own trail mix and it's super super easy so yeah, you can either make it yourself or you can buy it already made at your local grocery store. Trail mix. That's where it's at. Avocado toast is next, y'all. Now, so many people have been literally like raving about avocado toast. Y'all, I'm still trying to hop on the bandwagon. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm still trying to, I'm trying to hop on, trying my best, but I just haven't had any like delicious avocado toast um so i'm trying okay but i want to let you guys know that you can eat it because avocado is a healthy healthy fat now i probably don't eat it on toast but i definitely eat it in other ways because it's healthy it's a healthy fat it's what you want to consume like your body want avocados okay y'all i have a cheesy avocado joke please don't come for me in the comments how do we go like you can tell somebody like I don't have a truck but avocado okay uh, that was don't unsubscribe from me cuz we just gonna move on okay so sprinkle the seasoning you want so you get the toast and then you get the avocado and sprinkle the seasoning you want I know people use like Himalayan pink salt um, you can use black pepper um, whatever seasoning you want people get really creative with it i think some people put like sriracha don't quote me on that but i think so so just get toast um 
get like half of an avocado you don't need the whole thing unless you want the whole thing you can get two slices of toast and put it on put one half on one one side and then the other half on the other and yeah you will be getting calories from the toast and the avocado so you'll definitely get 300 plus calories in that snack so if you're looking for a snack that got enough calories definitely try avocado toast okay next is peanut butter jelly time peanut butter jelly time. peanut butter and jelly sandwiches y'all don't don't sleep on that like don't sleep on that peanut butter and jelly sandwiches will let y'all gain the weight that y'all want to gain like seriously peanut butter and jelly sandwiches is where it's at i think people think just because they older like i'm too old to eat that like i ate that as a kid as a child baby <laughs> you're never too old for a peanut butter jelly sandwich. but no in all actuality peanut butter is a good nut butter um especially when it comes to weight gain i talk about it all the time so i'm not gonna go in depth if you want to know more about it make sure to check out my <laughs> older videos peanut butter and jelly sandwiches is where it's at if you really want a lot of calories make sure you eat two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and yeah you really gonna get a lot of calories from that next is a grilled cheese sandwich so you can make a grilled cheese sandwich um toast your bread or you know put the cheese in the middle slap it together and just Toast it, cook it on the stove, and that's a quick snack, literally. So, if you're into grilled cheese, you can eat it for weight gain. Next is bread and butter. Now, I know y'all like bread and butter, but y'all don't sleep on bread nor sleep on bro <laughs> brother. What? Don't sleep on bread and don't sleep on butter. Now, y'all know my family Jamaican. If you don't know, that you're not an OG on this channel. You gotta become OG, but um <laughs> no seriously my family jamaican so if you ever had like jamaican bread i don't know the proper name for it i don't even know if it's a name for it but i just call it jamaican bread dead bread thick and if you eat it with some butter yeah shout out to marcia because she told me about that and that bread that bread hit y'all that's all i gotta say um next is apple slices with peanut butter so i talked about this before on my channel i won't go in depth about it but apple slices with peanut butter so good so worth it i think y'all should eat apple slices with peanut butter delicious and perfect for weight gain because the peanut butter but like i said talked about it already we ain't gotta go in depth go watch my last videos next is quaker rice cakes and peanut butter so I'm gonna post it on the screen, a little pop-up, but Quaker got like these rice cake things and you can literally put peanut butter or whatever type of spread you wanna put on there. That's another snack that you can eat. If you're tired of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, try the rice cakes. Next is tortilla chips and salsa. That is a simple, like we all have tortilla chips and salsa in our house. So, if you don't go get some it's a simple weight gain snack just something you could eat in between you know your breakfast your lunch and your dinner to get some more calories in for the day so definitely try it out next smoothies with your choice of protein powders so i talk about smoothies in almost probably every weight gain video on this because I'm huge on smoothies. Smoothies are so delicious. And as you guys know from previous videos, you can make smoothies with a lot of calories. <laughs> so smoothies are definitely the best way to go for a snack for weight gain. If you want more information, y'all gotta go, I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta go watch my other videos. Also, Akai Bowls. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, but I'll put them on the screen. Akai Bowls, y'all, so delicious. You can add fruit. You can add, um, you can even add your protein powder in there. Like, it's so many different things people add in there. So, banana slices, strawberries, blueberries, kiwi, whatever you want to add. Delicious, okay? A kai bowls is kind of like a smoothie bowl, if you want to call it that as well. So, if you want to, if you're tired of eating your smoothie or drinking your smoothie, you can literally put it in a bowl and add fruit and go crazy. 
The next thing that you guys can eat is tuna and crackers. Now, you have to figure out a recipe on tuna that works for you. Um, if y'all want to make a video about it, I'll let y'all know how to make mine. But that is really good because it can last you for a few days. So if you're like, oh my god, I don't want to think about a snack at work or like whatever, make you a bowl of tuna and get some crackers. Another snack is bagels and cream cheese. Simple, like straight to the point. That can also be a part of your breakfast. But in this video, we're talking about snacks. <laughs> so that can also be a snack, okay? Choose your choice of cream cheese. I like Philadelphia cream cheese. I think they make really good cream cheese. Next is, y'all know I have to talk about Ensure Boost in any drink like that. That is a good snack. Ensure Plus has about 350 calories in there. Ensure Boost, those type of drinks, really good for weight gain. But you have to be careful. Those drinks have a lot, a lot of sugar. And I always tell you guys like, watch your sugar, watch your blood pressure, don't, just watch it. Like, all these foods I'm naming are not the healthiest. Some of them are healthier than others, but some of them just, it's like, I'm just being honest with y'all, you know? So make sure you have a balanced diet and watch what you're consuming, watch your body, see what works, see what doesn't. This journey is literally a journey. That's what it is, it's a journey. What is it about journeys? They take time and it's trial and error. So some things that work for me might not work for you and vice versa, so just keep that in mind. Next, snack wraps, okay? So you can have tortilla, ham, cheese, mayo. Get the tortilla, put some mayo, put ham, put cheese. Kinda like if you were to make a sandwich and wrap it up and boom, eat it. I'm jumping back on this journey. Let me give you guys a quick little where the hell have I been. Honestly, your girl working nine to five now and going to the gym has been like this thing that I'm still trying to figure out. I'm gonna make a more a longer update video but just to give you guys a quick little what's going on with me i'm getting back on this journey with y'all okay watch out for my next videos because i'm definitely gonna go in depth with it but we're on this journey together like as you guys know the ogs on my channel i always talk about wigging y'all know i've been on this journey but i have to be honest and say i kind of haven't been on this journey just because that's how life is right you lose weight you gain weight things happen and it's just what it is and so now i'm back on this journey and i can't wait to gain weight with you guys and show you guys that it's possible that is what i do in all of my videos because there's so many people out there that's like it's not possible for me to gain weight and it is another thing that i want to say if you're under 18 and you're trying to gain weight i want you to really I would say wait because a lot of women don't reach puberty until I don't even know maybe 18 or maybe even 21 and so don't quote me on that but my point is there's a lot of like teenagers and just young women who comment on my videos like I want to gain weight and it's like baby girl you haven't even reached adulthood yet <laughs> like your life will change things will happen that causes you to gain causes you to lose so one don't lose hope and two just start working out. Don't even worry about overeating or just get fit. Get fit, honey. Go to the gym, okay? And remember to love your body and cherish your skin. That's why I tell you guys that because that is literally where it all begins. Like, you have to love yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's where it starts. <laughs> if you're gaining weight for the wrong reasons, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? Don't You don't want to gain weight for other people. You want to make sure you're doing it for you because at the end of the day you have to make sure it's what you want to do i always say that because it's like i feel like society makes it seem like everybody got to look a certain way and it's like no look how you want to look for you if you want a bigger booty go ahead girl but make sure you're doing it for you because when you get that you still not you still might not be happy if you're not doing it for you but anyway i'm so excited to get on this journey again and i will be telling you guys what i eat 
what I'm doing. It's going to be amazing. So make sure you stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. And comment body positivity down in the comments below. Let me know what foods you guys are eating to gain weight. Comment down below. And yeah. Because you can help other people. You can give me tips and tricks. And let me know what y'all be eating too. Okay. But stay tuned for the next video. And that's pretty much it y'all. Love y'all. Bye. Uh, cause I'm the MVP, most valuable. Cause I'm the MVP, most valuable. Yeah, I'm the MVP, most valuable player, huh? That's who I be.